One of the cool things about the M277 is there's two VCAs, and you'll notice there are indeed panning controls. You can indeed use this as a stereo panning circuit. There's a couple ways of going about it. First, let's look at normal stereo panning, and then I'm gonna show you a trick which I think is even better, and that's asymmetrical treatment or uneven treatment of the left and right channels. I'm trying to drive down in both channels. I'm gonna turn the amplitude up in both channels. Turn down the input volume. So I don't overdrive is too bad. Now, if you have a stereo signal, you can bring it into both the left and the right inputs. If you only have a mono signal like I have here, it's normal internally from left to right. So I don't need to patch into inputs. I can, however, go ahead and patch to outputs. Now again, there are, with some output modules, some impedance matching issues between the 277 and the module. But if you run it through a buffered mult first, you won't have those issues. And you'll get a nice, robust, loud sound. Go over into my right channel here. And there's my process sound. If I stay on this, change the pan control, you can see how the green waveform on the left is different than the blue waveform on the right. It's the kind of panning circuit where at the center they're both equal power, and as you fade to one side, one channel stays the same loudness while the other one fades out. Now, since the M277 does have this little aberration or idiosyncrasy around the zero volt crossing, you'll hear distortion get added to the channel being faded out. So it's not exactly a normal, clean stereo panning circuit. You can indeed run control voltage to the pan. Now, when you plug into these inputs, unlike amplitude and drive, these do not become attenuators. So I'm gonna run my triangle wave from my LFO here through my utility mixer, just to attenuate one of those channels coming in. I'm gonna go into the pan input here, play a note, and let's start increasing that LFO level. That's only a plus or minus five volt input, so I might back off a little bit here, create a little more continuous of a motion. So, yes, you have an auto panner. It doesn't really behave the way that you might expect the panning circuit of a mixer to work. It has its own sound. But what's far more interesting for me is to give up on ideas like LFOs and instead treat the left and right channels asymmetrically. Dial in different sounds on the left and right. This way you get pseudo stereo. For example, here's my sustained sound. I'll even go into drone mode for now. Let's back off the amplitude on one channel. then let's increase the drive of that channel. Now we have a radically different waveform in the left and right channels from one source. Now when I play a note, you hear motion in the sound as it goes through its envelope and the amplitude changes going into the M277. Go ahead and dial in both of our oscillators and get a little bit of beating in here again. Now we can make the sound appear to auto pan as the input amplitude changes. So for me, that is a hidden use of the M277, and that's to use it as a stereoizer for mono signals. Anyway, that's using the M277 as an output module. Let me change some cables around, and now we'll use it as a normal VCA in a patch.